Hey everybody. Um, I wanted to touch base real quick um, just to give a brief message update on uh, what's going on here. But um, I'm doing this for two reasons. Uh, number one, YouTube recently uh, banned slash censored one of my videos. Um, I guess I used one of their taboo words. Um, it's insane to me that we live in this kind of society nowadays. This this is America, you know, where we're supposed to be able to express ideas freely. We're supposed to be able to discuss things freely. Uh, censorship is something that should be totally foreign um, to freedom, but yet we have a society now where if you're of a different opinion than um, what mass media or what culture is putting out there, uh, they, they ban you, they censor you. It's insane. It's, it's like a precursor to Nazi Germany. Like it's literally uh, it, it, what happens in totalitarian systems. And to think that America, the land of the free, is now on the verge of that, it's, it's mind boggling. Uh, that, that people are actually tolerating um, censorship, uh, encouraging censorship. And it's there's that old saying that um, lies, you know, they can't win an argument, so what do they do? They censor. Uh, there's, there's, if you can't debate your point factually, you try to silence your opposition. And so it's just ridiculous that we're living in that kind of society now. But... Um, and of course, you know, we've seen this coming for years now. Uh, they, they started doing this, I don't know, what, 2019, 2018? We started seeing the ban culture, the cancel culture, and we all saw it heading in this direction. Um, so to be honest, you know, we, we should have been prepared beforehand. But um, And I, I did set up some alternative uh, sites, uh, which is why I'm doing this. I'm just now addressing it. Um, but I kind of, you know, was ahead of the curve a little bit and, and jumped onto some alternative medias. Um, but I'm anticipating a lot of my future videos uh, being banned or canceled, especially if you're watching the um, Developing a Proper Worldview series, because we're going to start getting into some pretty controversial ideas. Controversial from society's perspective, not from a biblical perspective. But society hates the truth and we're going to start getting into some real meaty truths uh, that they don't like people to know um, so I'm anticipating censorship and I don't know how the YouTube rules work I, I don't know after you know X amount of videos are blocked if you get banned or what the deal is um, but I wanted to address that just as, as a precaution um, if you're watching if you enjoy my videos um, please find me on the alternative media sites and that way if I'm ever banned or blocked or I just disappear off of YouTube um, it's not that I quit or deleted my profile it's that they got rid of me and you can find me on other pro platforms so um, right now I'm posting my videos on Rumble and I'll put the link down in the description um, I highly recommend it I'm gonna still keep doing YouTube as long as as long as I can get away with it um, so but in the meantime I would highly suggest that you just go over there subscribe to me you can continue to watch me on YouTube but like I say if I ever disappear you can jump over on rumble and still find my videos um, and then if that ever goes wonky I suppose I'd have to set up my own website or something I don't know um, but also um, follow me on Facebook and I'll put that link in the description as well and we know Facebook is one of the big censoring sites as well so I am on the alternative social media site MeWe And that link will also be down in the description. Um, again, I highly recommend that people uh, 
get off of these censoring platforms and get on, on alternatives. I set up MeWe a while back. Unfortunately, not too many people use it, uh, but it's very user friendly. It functions almost exactly like Facebook. I think a lot of people get scared because there is a pay for MeWe service, but you can use the free service. I think the pay is just like if you're posting an, an abnormal amount of photos or data or whatever, then they charge you, but I use it and I've never been charged anything. They, of course, you get an ad every once in a while where they try to get you to buy into the premium service, but you don't have to do that. So don't be afraid of it. Jump on there, support them, support Rumble. Uh, these are good alternative sites um, that function almost exactly like YouTube and Facebook. So if you're used to those social media platforms, you shouldn't have any problem switching over. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that if I disappear um, off of YouTube, you're able to find me. And then the second reason I'm doing this is I'm sure you've noticed if you're a regular watcher um, that I've kind of slowed down on the amount of videos that I'm putting out. And so I wanted to talk about that because um, really I only have a, a handful of people that watch or listen to the various things that I do. Um, but I, I truly, you know, appreciate it. It's such a great encouragement to me um, to have viewers or to have communication from from saints, from brothers and sisters around the world that I've never met, uh, but they let me know they're encouraged by this, and that that you know almost brings tears to my eyes. I appreciate it so much that when I don't do a video, I'm often left feeling guilty, and I'm specifically thinking about you. Uh, when I'm not doing a video, like it dominates my thoughts. I'm thinking, man, you know, so and so appreciates my videos. I got to put out another one so they can, you know, so it's just to uh, to um, give back what they're giving me, you know, through encouragement and through viewership and whatnot. But so I, f I feel really bad when I don't do one. Um, but I, I wanted to address something. I was thinking yesterday, you know. Um, I've been really not down in a depressed way, but just kind of spiritually um, just dry, just, you know, like in a blah type attitude and um, for quite a while. And to be honest, I've kind of been forcing these videos lately. I've been and for and 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 my podcasts and other things I do. I've been forcing it. I've been I've been doing it out of uh, repetition or or this idea that I have to do it. I have to keep moving forward. And I was thinking yesterday, and um, I've often attributed um, our our spiritual walk, our salvation, to the old uh, Red Sea Dead Sea analogy. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with that, but um, the Red Sea is full of life. It, it just has an abundance of, of aquatic life. And the Dead Sea, it's, it's so named Dead Sea because there's no life in it. It's, it's a, literally a Dead Sea. There's no aquatic life. And so when you look at the two, you think, okay, what's the difference? Why is one so brimming with life and why is the other dead? And um, the analogy that I've heard is that the, the Red Sea has um, rivers and creeks and whatnot pouring into it. And then it also has outlets. It's also pouring out. While the Dead Sea has rivers and, and creeks and whatnot pouring into it, but it has no outlets. There's no outflow. And, and that's why it's dead. It's the, the in and the out continuation that keeps the Red Sea alive and brimming with life. And it's the stagnant, um, it, the inflow without the outflow of the Dead Sea that kills it. And so I've often thought about that as a, as a spiritual analogy, uh, it, or it is a spiritual analogy, how I originally heard it, but it's always stuck with me and played in my mind as, as a truism that I really enjoy and cling to. Um, we as Christians, we, we, we are poured into by the things of the Spirit. We're, we're poured into through prayer, through fellowship with the Lord, through fellowship with saints, through meditation on him, meditation on his character, through reading of the word, um, just these these different things that, that uh, the spirit is poured into us. And then um, we're not, the, the, Jesus told the parable about the man with the talents who hid his talent because he was afraid. 
and um, he was destroyed in the end because he didn't do nothing with what he was given. The reason we're called, the reason we're saints, the reason we're not snatched off into heaven the moment we get saved, and the reason we're left here is that we are supposed to be outpouring. As the Spirit pours into us, we need to pour that back out into society, into the world, in, in whatever gifts and talents you have, whatever means you have, whatever abilities you have, musically, artistically, uh, uh, linguistically, uh, through teaching ministries, through serving ministries, through tracts, through preaching, through evangelism, through street ministry, whatever it is, we're supposed to be, as the Spirit pours these truths into us, as we learn from God, we need to pour that back out into society and tell people what it is that's being revealed to us. We're, we're reflectors. We're, we, we reflect the glory as we're taught, we teach. You know, and so we, we pour back out into society what is poured into us. And it's that inflow and outflow that keeps a healthy spiritual life. And um, the reason I think that I've been struggling so much lately and why I feel um, very little joy, very little excitement, just... Um, I guess I am kind of spiritually depressed. Not as the world would say depression, because we rejoice in the Lord always. I'm, I'm just down. And I, I think it's because for, for a long, long time, um, in my personal walk, my part of my testimony is that I just spent a lot of time with the Lord. Just studying the Word um, on my own, pretty much, and just learning from Him. So I was being filled and filled and filled and then when the Lord pointed me in a certain direction to do ministry, and, and, and the ministry that he has given me mainly is through social media, um, I, was, I, was just, I was able to do it with joy. I'm just pouring out all these years and years of stuff that have been poured into me. Um, but now I think I'm struggling because I'm struggling with the inflow, and yet I'm still trying to do the outflow. It's like I'm I'm dried up myself, so I have nothing, uh, very little to pour out, and it's it's I so I, I feel like I need to take time to step back, and to seek the inflow again. I I need to be filled, so I can pour out. If that makes any sense, and I'm not that's I, for some reason when I just said that it rang in my ear as like pride or arrogance. There's. There's none of that. We all are the same way. We all need the inflow of the Spirit. And if we're not being fed by the things of the Spirit, if, if we're lacking in something, it's going to show in our outward ministries and our outward behavior. So basically, um, I'm going to, instead of, just, like like I say, I know I've slowed down on the videos, but I feel so guilty about it all the time. Not Not guilty, I just feel... Yeah, guilty or I feel like I'm letting people down or I just feel like I should be you know forcing these things out so instead of doing that I'm gonna take some time off um, not to say I'm not gonna put anything out if the spirit leads me and I feel moved I'm, I'm gonna do a video but um, like I, my my schedule I, I do a podcast on Monday I, I was doing a Facebook live teaching video on Tuesdays um, going to church Bible study on Wednesdays, uh, doing the worldview, developing a proper worldview on Thursdays, and then I was I my my plan was to organize a, a local Bible study on Fridays, and then Saturdays I'm meeting with my small group, and then Sundays I got church, and so every day is regimented, uh, but I'm gonna scale that back and just. Um, uh, cut myself some slack so to speak until I can be filled again I, I need to, to I need to um, draw near to the Lord and and find my joy find my contentment find my satisfaction again um, and so like I say you'll probably still see a video here or there uh, I'm not going to stick to that regiment though you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scale back from that and kind of take it easy for the time being uh, until I feel like the Lord is pouring into me again and I have something to offer. Right now, I don't have much to offer. I have all this knowledge stored up that I'm able to speak out to you, but but there's very little 
heart behind it. There's very little um, uh, spiritual joy behind it. Um, yeah, so that that's what I wanted to say. Um, you know, like I say, I'll still post things every now and then probably. It's just not going to be as frequently, and I wanted to explain why. And then also um, on that first point, make sure you follow me on those other social medias um, if you just want to stay up to date and, and, and stay in contact with me. Um, again, the, the reason I'm doing this video is because I, I, I truly um, I love you. I love, I love my viewers and I, I love um, the encouragement and the edification that you give me just by a word, just by a thumbs up. It's like, man, you know, this, this, uh, this is beneficial. This is good. It, it's so encouraging. And so I just wanted to express, you know, my gratitude to you. And I wanted to, um, let you know what's going on so that you don't feel like you're hanging, you know, left hanging, wondering, you know, where's the videos? Why isn't this happening? I know because uh, especially like with my podcast or the developing a worldview series, um, those, if you get, if you get into them, you know, you, you're going to want to keep going because we're only partial, you know, we're probably one tenth of the way done. And, and if you, if you watch them all, you know, you're, you're, You've got countless hours into this already, so I just wanted to let you know it's not done, Lord willing. Um, it's just going to slow down, probably even more than it has been. I, I don't know. We'll see what the Lord does, but um, I love you guys, and uh, Lord willing, we'll talk to you soon.